we remember an event in American history that at first we believed might leave a mark on this country that would set us back forever. But because of the resilience of the citizens of our nation, because of our pursuit of the American dream and our determination to move forward as citizens, we overcame that. And nine years later, we are standing here in northeastern Pennsylvania as our 7,500 students began their quest for a dream about two weeks ago. We stand here today and we commemorate and we protect that dream. At this time, it is a distinct privilege for me to read the words on the Walk of Honor that we commemorate today. The Walk of Honor is a tribute to the dedication and service of first responders who selflessly risked their lives to save the lives of others. Michael Scott Carlo was a fire department New York firefighter who died on September the 11th, 2001 in the World Trade Center. Mrs. Phyllis Carlo of Wanamie, Michael's mother, collaborated with State Representative John Udichak to establish the Firefighter Michael Carlo Memorial Fund with monies received from the New York Stock Exchange Fallen Heroes Fund. Michael's fund will support local training programs and has helped construct the Public Safety Institute at Luzerne County Community College. We will forever honor those who have made the ultimate sacrifice and we assure that all future emergency first responders will be properly trained. A few short months after the tragedy of 9-11, I met a remarkable family. Phyllis Carlo, a mother of two New York City firefighters, walked into my office one day to share with me her very personal experience with the terrorist attack on the World Trade Center. With tears in her eyes, but a strong love in her heart, she told me the story of her brave sons, Rob and Michael. She was proud of them. She was proud they were firefighters. Most of all, I could tell, she was proud they were so close as brothers. Rob and Michael grew up playing in the hills of Newport Township, the very hills that frame this beautiful site. Rob and Michael left our region to chase their dreams together as firemen in the skyscraper landscapes of New York City. Phyllis, as mothers do, worried about her sons. She knew the dangers of the job, but she knew her boys were strong. What Phyllis did not know, what no mother, no rational person of faith or reason could have ever known, was that a heinous act of terrorism hatched in the hateful hearts of criminals halfway across the globe would take her son Michael from this earth and separate mother from son and brother from brother. Michael Carlo responded to the World Trade Center on 9-11 and arrived upon a scene like no other in the history of America. New York City was under attack from the skies. Thousands of innocent Americans were dead and one of the world's largest buildings was collapsing upon its foundation. What did firefighter Michael Carlo do when faced with this unimaginable scene? He marched into the flames and the chaos to do what he was trained to do, save lives. In his heroic effort to rescue the victims of 9-11 from the rubble and the fire, Michael Carlo sacrificed everything and lost his own life. This is the story Phyllis Carlo shared with me about her son Michael on that day she walked into my office. It is a remarkable story, a story of an American hero cut down in the line of duty and in the prime of life. But Phyllis Carlo, Phyllis Carlo did not want the story to end with Michael's death. While she had every right to be angry every right to lash out at the world for her tragic personal loss. Phyllis Carlo instead wanted to build a positive legacy for Michael. She wanted love to spring from the embers of hate on that hateful day. She wanted Michael's life and work to inspire others to build a safer, 
better America. And Phyllis did not come to my office just with a mother's wish. She brought with her a check for $20,000 for the New York Stock Exchange Foundation to begin the work, to begin the building of Michael Carlo's legacy. Mrs. Carlo, as we dedicate the Walk of Honor today, as you glance around at the grounds of the new Luzerne County Community College Public Safety Institute that trained nearly a thousand emergency responders in its first year of operation, please take comfort. Please take comfort knowing that your son, Michael, remains an inspiration to all of us. Your dream of turning Michael's tragic death into a positive living legacy has been realized today. Your son, Michael's extraordinary spirit will live on forever here at LCC. As long as there are brave men and women who train at this facility, as long as there is a grateful community that honors those who serve and sacrifice, the name of Michael Carlo will inspire those of us who wish to continue that good fight for a safer, better America. He was such a wonderful person. And um, I just think he was a hero and he should be remembered. And if Michael was here today, what do you think he would think of this Walk of Honor? Oh, he would think it's wonderful. He would probably be smiling from ear to ear and would love all this attention and his name mentions a lot. Today they have decided to also dedicate and present a scholarship. That's wonderful and that was my original thought was on a small on a small level you would do something like that never realizing it would turn into something so big.